okay so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.3 which says that in 19 in 1897 gj thomson discovered the electron by measuring charge to mass ratio of cathode rays all right so what he do he passed the beam of uh, uh, electrons uh, in the uniform cross uh, cross electric and magnetic fields e and b mutually perpendicular and both of them perpendicular to the beam also all right so and adjusted the electric field until he got zero deflection then what was the speed of the particles all right so in, in 1897 jj thompson discovered the electron by measuring the charge to mass ratio so what he does he mean that uh, he passed the uh, beam through uniform electric and magnetic field all right so the force acting on the beam will be both from the uh, magnetic field and the electric field q e plus v cross b so this is the total force as we know that when a charged particle moves in the uh, uh, beam of uh, when a, a beam of charged particles moves through the uniform crossed electric field and magnetic field this is the force what we get so he says that he adjusted the electric field until he got zero deflection so what does it mean so zero deflection means that the force acting on the particles uh, start uh, got get to zero and the path becomes straight line so as he threw some beams from here and instead of deflection uh, somewhere somewhere this somewhere this they pass straight uh, straight away they pass like uh, just like straight lines the beam uh, pass like straight lines so this is the uh, meaning of that uh, they he got zero deflection so this zero deflection can uh, can be done by uh, creating e uh, anti parallel pa parallel to magnetic field and with v initial is zero all right so this is when we get straight line when our beam is passed through electric field and magnetic field this is how we generate the straight line or we can say the force acting becomes zero so just uh, apply this formula and you get q into e plus v cross b is equal to zero because deflection uh, because he has created zero deflection straight lines uh, beams are going through straight lines so that is why zero so e comes out to be v into b why why i am writing v into b as you know that v cross b is equal to v b sin theta and the angle between them it is already given that they are both perpendicular to each other all right to the perpendicular to the beam also so the velocity of beam is also perpendicular to the magnetic field that is why angle is 90 degree and v cross b becomes v into b all right so now putting the values e is equal to uh, minus of v into b so velocity comes out to be e upon b uh, the mode of velocity all right so this is the uh, he asked about the velocity what he is asking asking in the next question that then he turned off the electric field and measured the radius of curvature of the beam as deflected by magnetic field alone all right so then what he did he do he turned off the electric field so the force acting alone uh, uh, becomes q v cross b as we know that if we turn off the electric field because no uh, uh, force due to electric field is acting and now the beam will also deflect why de deflection will occur because he has turned off the electric field that zero deflection has gone that is why we are taking it so q into b into b is equal to uh, m into we can say that uh, a all right so this is how we write now uh, we can take the uh, derivation from the first example or just what 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 you can do is we need to calculate the uh, q by m ratio he is saying q by m ratio in terms of in terms of b e and r all right so we have with us b we also have uh, v from where we can get e and we need r only all right so we can directly apply that formula momentum formula that for a cyclotron momentum is q b into r all right m into v is equal to q b into r 
now uh, we need q by m so taking q by m aside we get uh, v upon br this is what we get the ratio of q by m but we need e so will sorry m here so we'll be using the relation v is equal to e by b and just putting it here e upon b square upon alpha so this is the relation that we got the q by m ratio you can go also get this relation from here also let me show you how so m is equal to uh, you can write this dv by uh, dt as you know that this is also equal to q into v into b all right so here we need v only so i'll be integrating it like this v into dt into b so m into v is equal to integrate so q v t into b so we know that velocity uh, distance is equal to speed into time so this becomes r we get q r b is equal to mv so by this here also you can uh, calculate the momentum or you can just directly apply the formula uh, so in exam somehow uh, we don't remember these types of formulas so you can derive it too by this method or if you remember the formula of cyclotron that is well and good you can directly apply the formula and just get your answer so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye bye